Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in beautiful Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Keystone Passport 27RB. It's a beautiful couples coach, nice high-end amenities and lightweight. Let's go ahead and start up front, we'll make our way around and then head on in. So right here you have a power tongue jack. This of course makes it nice and easy to hook up and disconnect from the tow vehicle. There is also a light on there for added visibility at night. Behind that is your propane tank cover with two 20 pound tanks. Easy to access, just undo the thumb screws, lift up the door here and you can get right into them. Then behind that you see rails for battery box. It is large enough to have two batteries there if you so desire. Coming up the front here, they have this upgraded uh, rot guard. You can see this is actually a beautiful fiberglass front cap they have on this unit because it is, uh, again, a upgraded unit. This is the Passport Elite. Uh, so gorgeous front cap. That rot guard, rather than your standard diamond plating, comes up here, uh, help protects the front end. And then over in the corner here, you will notice this unit has solar prep. So if you do want solar, all you have to do is buy the panels, plug it in right there, and it will start to trickle charge your battery. Come around to the side here, you will notice the uh, laminated side walls. You can see that the pass-through does have a cover on the hinge so you don't have rust coming down the door here. It's also magnetic, so nice and easy to put up. Now if you take a look at the pass-through, you'll see the aluminum structure. This is a uh, aluminum structure on this unit, but big opening. So if you do have larger items like zero gravity chairs, grills, things like that you want to put in there, you can easily do so. Making our way down a little bit further here, you can take a look at the power awning. That does go from here all the way to the back of the coach. Uh, just touch a button that rolls out, same thing to go right back in. Then you have an LED light strip underneath there as well. So just touch a button to go ahead and turn that on. That saves you from having to get up there and hang up your Christmas lights. Getting into the coach is very easy. You can see you have three steps here as well as the easy or, uh, foldable easy grab handle. So that way from the first step all the way in, you have nice secure grip. Now this unit is capable of extended season camping. If you take a look underneath here, you will see that it has a enclosed and heated underbelly. So that way if you are getting into the you know, late fall where it starts to get cold, you won't have to worry about your tanks and stuff freezing up on you. Slide out right here, there's another one on the other side. We'll see that when we head on in. Electrical outlet there as well. Uh, so if you need to plug anything in, you have a convenient spot to do it. If you take a look at the axles right here, these are load equalization axles, which is essentially a wide axle system. Uh, having those spread axles helps reduce sway. So when you're uh, driving this unit down the road, you don't start you know, having it fishtail nearly as bad, which again is definitely great, especially when you have, you know, it is a lighter weight unit for the size. Um, you know, again, gives it a great tow experience all around. Right up top here, two outside speakers. Those are connected to the multimedia center inside. So if you, uh, you know, want to sit out here, that multimedia center is Bluetooth capable. So you can use your smartphone or tablet and go ahead and connect to that via Bluetooth and control your music right out here. Now, one thing I do love is when a couple's coach has an outside kitchen or entertainment area, and that's exactly what this has. I really uh, am happy the fact they're able to put in a larger fridge. Far too often on the couple's models, they give you a smaller fridge. I personally like the bigger one. I like to have a lot of beverages out here, you know, maybe some condiments in there too. Uh, so that's definitely a big, big bonus in my book. LED light here too, uh, give you some light at night. You can see, you know, nice storage there. So if you do want to throw, uh, you know, some cups, plates, whatever in here, you can easily do that. Close them off so they're not hanging out. Sink right here. And then underneath, you can take a look. Full extension ball bearing drawer there. This guy pulls out too. You get a little bit of extra countertop space there. Um, go ahead and open this up for you just so you can take a look, see inside there of how much space you actually do have. Now, if you would like to cook outside, don't fret. As we come around to the back side, you'll see right here is an arm for your grill. So you can go ahead and swing this out and around, put the grill on it. That will be inside underneath the bed. Uh, that way, as I mentioned, you can go ahead and cook right here outside. Spare tire next to that with a cover to make sure it stays in nice shape. You have your outside shower with both hot and cold access here. Black tank flush to help wash out your black tank after you're done draining it. You can hook a hose up right here. That black tank has sprayers built in. It will go ahead and rinse anything else out that is uh, in your tank. 
Then if you take a look right up top there, this unit also has uh, backup camera prep. So that way, if uh, you know you want a backup camera, if you you know it's a, it is a larger unit, even though it's lighter weight, still starts to get kind of into that realm where it may be nice to have that extra vision. It's easy to go ahead and have that installed. But all right, folks, it's pretty much going to wrap it up for the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Keystone Passport Elite 27RB. This particular model is in the rattan interior. As you will see, this is a nice open space here because you have dual opposing slides really opening it up. Uh, what that also allows for is this right here, which is your center island. You can see in the Elite, you have the beautiful solid surface countertops on here, uh, sink covers to help maximize prep space. When I take that off, you can see it's a very large single bowl stainless steel sink under mount, of course, they're able to do that because it is a solid surface, uh, but plenty of room there for uh, you know, any dishes that you need to do. If you have big pots and pans, residential cookware, it will still fit in there. You have the high rise pull out faucet here as well. Now all down the front, you can see a bank of drawers, which is great. Three full extension ball bearing drawers there. And right underneath the sink here, you can see you have some extra storage. Now, if you want to plug anything into the island, that's not an issue. You'll see you have an electrical outlet on the front there. So you can go ahead and uh, plug something in. So if you have like a blender, something like that, uh, not a problem. Then if we take a look over on this, this side right here, this slide, this is our kitchen slide, Dometic fridge freezer combo. Open that up for you. You can see all the space there. A little bit of a cutout right there too, which is pretty nice. So if you have taller items, it's not an issue. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. Microwave right up top here. Go ahead and open that guy up. You can see the good storage up above the uh, hood here. The hood does have a light and fan built in. Again, good countertop space here as well. You know, it's not something you see too terribly often. Usually this will be a lot smaller, but I like that they went ahead and gave you that space. LED light under here, and there's also an electrical outlet there too. So again, if you need to plug in a coffee maker or something, you can do it on that side there. Three burner Atwood cooktop, front one being high output. Uh, as we lower this down, you can see your oven if you want to do some baking. Nice big drawer right here. This one's nice and deep, so great spot for pots and pans. And then same thing here. You can see how much storage you get underneath. Uh, that's absolutely massive storage there. So whether you want that to be pots, pans, food, whatever you need, you can fit it there. But if that's not quite enough, do not worry. Take a look at this huge pantry in this travel trailer. You can see how much space you have there. That is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, phenomenal. That's you know as big of a pantry as some people have in their house. And you can see you have an electrical outlet right down here as well. And then another one over here. Um, now this one is probably more to be used on the table and chairs, but we'll get to that in just a second. First, let's take a look at this. Nice versatile storage area. You can see you do have a hanging rod up top if you want to use it for uh, you know, wardrobe. The shelves do come out or you can just leave the shelves in there. Again, you can use this for pantry, clothes, whatever else you need to fit in there. This is a rear bath model, so let's come on in. We can take a look at the bathroom. So right against the wall here is the foot flush lover toilet. You can see plenty of leg room all the way around. Then up above that, you have a massive linen closet. You can fit everything you want in there. If you want to put your own storage systems in there, you can do that too. Then next to that is the mirrored uh, medicine cabinet. You can see it has storage behind that. And then right down here is your sink top and vanity. Uh, you have a nice cutout there if you want a smaller trash can, good countertop space, and then additional storage under the sink too. Uh, right down here is a heat duct, which is cool. So on those colder days, it will be nice and warm. You know, the furnace will be blowing right in here. Tri-slide glass door on our shower. Uh, as we move in, we can see the hand wand here. Uh, you have good shelving space. Then up top, you have uh, your fan, so that way you can quickly get the moisture out. And as we come out, take a look at the ceiling real quick on the Elite. You will see it's a barreled ceiling. That's great because it definitely helps uh, with the height. You have plenty of room here. Don't feel like you're claustrophobic or closed in. And as we take a look over here, this is our super slide. You'll see the freestanding table and chairs right here, which definitely helps complete the look. You know, this is an Elite. Uh, you want that, that little bit more refined look, and that's what the table and chairs does for you. Plus, it gives you a little more space. It's easier to get in and out of. Uh, windows all the way around, of course, to let in natural light. 
Uh, this is the rattan interior. You can kind of see that on the valances here. Tri-fold sofa here as well. This is great. Extremely comfortable to sit on and it makes into a very comfortable bed. You can see here, it actually uses the cushions of the couch itself uh, to fold out. And then, you know, that way you have a comfortable place to sleep. If you have guests that want to stay the night, they won't hate you in the morning for making them sleep on an air mattress. Uh, so definitely a big advantage right there. And if you need to, you can still get around, you know, from the bedroom, you can come out this way, you can still get to the kitchen, the bathroom, whatever else you need to do. This does not close off the entire coach. Right here's our entertainment center. Uh, you can see the TV, this is on a swing arm mount. So if you want to swing that over to the couch, you can do that for better viewing angle. Multimedia center right here. I briefly talked about that when we were outside because it is Bluetooth capable. Controls the speakers out there as well as the speakers in here. It is a radio CD and DVD player so you can watch a movie on there. Right up top here, some additional storage. You can see the uh, tinted glass there, but you have some additional storage there. And then same thing right under here. You can see some storage there. Uh, you have a cubby hole here, a couple USB ports in there as well. Let's come and take a look at the bedroom. So one of the big upgrades in the 2017 Passports is this right here. You have a king bed. This is huge in a travel trailer. Very few manufacturers are doing this. Um, you know, but you probably have a king bed at home and you get used to that sleeping space. You want the same thing when you're out camping and that is what Passport is providing. Also, if you take a look right here, you will see that they have these slider pocket style doors rather than curtains, so added privacy. And a cutout right here, if you do want a TV, you can go ahead and have one installed right there. Then as we move back up toward the nose, you'll notice that you have mirrored wardrobes on both sides, some hanging space right there, little shelf beneath. The sides of the bed do have electrical outlets, so if you need to plug in a CPAP machine or cell phone, you can go ahead and do that too. Also additional storage across the top, you can see the tinted glass kind of has the Elite uh, marked in right there, which is a pretty neat look. You can see the LED lights uh, both up on the ceiling and right here for reading as well. Also, windows on both sides allow for a great cross breeze. Uh, one last thing, you, there is storage underneath the bed. I forgot to show that, you know, king bed. But as you can see right here, you still have massive storage. You can see the grill right there I mentioned. Uh, that goes on the back, so it does come with the grill. But all right, folks, that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, again, this is a 2017 Keystone Passport Elite 27RB. This is a beautiful couples coach. Uh, you have the dual opposing slides in the kitchen, really opens that up. Great prep space, you know, nice high-end amenities, and it's still fairly lightweight. If you are interested and you'd like price and availability, you can either give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, or you can always take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Also, if you enjoyed this walkthrough, be sure to join our YouTube channel. That way you'll be one of the first to see the latest and greatest from us here at American RV. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.